Uh, my name is John Stewart, I'm the Forensic Operations Manager for Merseyside Police and uh, what we have here today is a 3D representation of the Internet Cafe on uh, London Road where tragically uh, Michael Toohey was uh, brutally lost his life. What we have here is, as I say, a 3D representation. What we do is our Forensic Reconstruction Unit go to the crime scene and uh, do a number of 360 scans which are knitted all together, which allows the jury to take a virtual walk through the crime scene. But equally what it does is it enables to pinpoint key pieces of evidence that were crucial in this case, because obviously with it being public access, there were a number of uh, areas that uh, we needed to negate the fact that the fingerprints had been left there in a legitimate way. And what we were able to do here is by highlighting the position of the fingerprints in the area where the incident took place, we could uh, eliminate others that were at uh, the scene on that day and pinpoint it down to the people who were truly responsible for the brutal murder of Michael. And it was a brutal murder as well, wasn't it? A, 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 a gang attack, a large number of people involved. Did that present particular complexities to the investigation, the number of people involved and the, ma the manner of his death? It did. Uh, the, uh, any death of this nature is obviously hard for families to deal with. And in investigations as complex as this, initially it started out that there were probably, could have been possibly 15 people involved. But through uh, excellent detective work and intelligence, we were able to get that down to nine people who we thought could be who the CPS were comfortable to take to uh, court, who were responsible to who were thought to be responsible in this instance. This was a, a, a very savage assault, and it must have been uh, terrible for Michael in his last moments. It must have been yes, uh, and that's why it's vitally important that we deal with uh, Michael and treat him with all the dignity and respect that he needed, uh, because. Obviously, once the incident took place, it was then down to Worcester's Crime Scene Investigators and Merseyside Police in general to uh, look after him, uh, look after his family through our family liaison officers and make sure that we did everything and left every stone unturned to make sure that we were able to get the evidence required to serve justice for Michael and his family.